Hey guys, how's this for a beautiful shot? Me and a flower, you and a promise. That's a Howie Day song. Anyway, welcome back. We're at the Great Fairy. So in between videos, it videos, <laughs> I didn't mean to say it like that. Um, in between videos, I went to the Zorana Skyview Tower just to grab another sticky frog, because that's where they are. And I did that so I could go ahead and uh, upgrade one more of these, since I'm using them all the time. Love to have these upgraded ASAP. Or a, a M A P and also a S A P. So let's get that cheek animation. Oh, we get to see the fourth uh, fairy animation here in a second. Actually, did I ever show the third one? I don't know. But now that I have the rupees, I can also finally do this. Which oh, large zonite's gonna stop us from getting the other set. I was thinking about getting the rest of the miner set, but if I don't have the large zonite for it, then yeah. So see, maybe that's why I shouldn't have traded in large zonite for crystallized charges when I did. Because that is a thing you can do, but it might stop you from doing other things. But also, the only reason I don't have more large zonite is just because I haven't spent that much time in the depths outside of fighting those five mini-bosses that I keep talking about that I won't shut up about. But yeah, Minor Stop is a level 4 now, so we have something with 20 defense. So we can basically get 20 and 12 and 12 at this point, which is actually really good. So that's all we're going to be able to do with the Great Fairy for now. So I was thinking about it in between videos, and I guess there's really no reason why I have to do all the pen quests at once. And if I tried to save them until I'm at a point where I can do them, which I basically can do them now, um, it's just that I kind of don't want to do them all now. But I guess there's no reason why I can't do a few of them now. Like, we don't have to commit to this or anything, but now that I've started doing it, though, I could see myself actually just doing these all now, if for no other reason than to get that set. Especially if we're going to be going into the Zora area pretty soon, which, by pretty soon, I mean like 40 videos from now. See, now it's 40. It was 75, now it's 40. Don't you just love how inconsistent I am? That's my mark, man. That's my brand at this point. Jeez. No, my brand is still farts. Don't worry about that. But anyway, over here... Your story is really something. Man, you're going through it again just to make sure I have all the details right. Oh. Sure, no problem. We've been taking care of a very rare animal for Princess Zelda. A golden horse. But the poor thing ran away from our stable. Mm. Hmm, Princess Zelda's horse vanishing like that is a pretty big story. But tell me again why that horse ran off. Oh. That's the troubling part. When it happened, I finished tending to the horses and was taking a bit of rest in the stable. Then that gentle creature began making terrible sounds, neighing and bucking around so hard it shook the stable. So you went outside to see what was wrong, did you? Mm. Yes, exactly. And there she was, Princess Zelda. After all this time, she was right in front of our stable. But then the princess came closer, and the golden horse thrashed harder. Aww. And that animal broke free and bolted away like nothing I've ever seen before. I couldn't help staring at that crazed creature, and when I looked back at the princess, she was just gone. It happened so fast. Mm. Well, shit. Have you ever thought that maybe what you saw wasn't actually Princess Zelda? I don't know. Ah. It's a possibility, anyway. I mean, animals know, so it's true, animals can sense evil. Name that movie. Actually, in the movie he says dogs, but I would say it's all animals, really. Princess Zelda is known far and wide for her compassion, so I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, sir. Ma'am, I don't even know what you are. Anyway, oh, we have a dog. But that poor horse galloped north and never looked back, so I guess we're gonna have to send somebody else out, some other poor fool. Hmm, yeah. That sounds good. Hmm, yeah. Don't like Dr. Hottie here. I'm gonna sit by the campfire and start... Shit! As I was about to say, start night over. It looks like night here now. Huh. <laughs> That's the snow for you. Okay, so she said the golden horse headed out north. Oh, but we're gonna have to put on our cool armor. So there was no point in me actually doing that then, was there? Well, by golly, I tell ya. Where's my cold set at? Oh, it's right in front of my face. Jeez Louise, man. Okay, well, I guess we better go find that horse. Maybe the best way to find a horse is to take a horse, because I gotta tell you, running in the snow is not fun. Even if it is a fine inspiration, like that guy says. Well, since we don't need a harness, we might as well take Epona for this one. The only thing I don't like about this is that we're gonna take one horse out, bring a different horse back. You know, and that's, uh, <laughs> I don't like leaving Epona out in the snow. Of course, then again, the horse has proven that it's very capable of taking care of itself, or herself. Mm. What's the world coming to? I don't know. You can just shut the balls up. I already dropped my precision F-strike for this video. No more of that. So the horse headed north. 
But what else is north is, as you may see in the distance there, a Frost Gleok. So my first time playing this, I thought you had to fight the Gleok to get the horse back. Turns out you don't. But if you just kind of search around here, in fact, I guess if you activated the quest, it might actually tell you. Although I get the feeling, yeah, the quest marker is going to be down by the stable. The horse you're going to have to find on your own, Sonny. But, you know, just look around and don't get too close to the Gleok, and I'm sure we'll find you just fine. Here, let's speed up a little bit here. Maybe we can expedite this process. Oh, we're getting way too close, dude. Get away. Jeez. Holy crap. Even this far away, I don't know. These things can aggro you from a real distance. So, you know, I mentioned that before. I was worried about that fire Gleok off in the Gerudo area next to the rare stone talus I was fighting, and I was like, I don't know. There is a rock there that kind of falls. I actually wonder if that might be easier. Hey, hang on. That would be easier to see the horse. Oh, God, he aggroed me. He aggroed me. See how far away he is, though? And he aggroed me. No, we can't fight this thing like this. No, that ain't happening. That ain't happening. I'm running. Epona, you better run for your life. You can hide, you know, like behind stuff, and they won't be able to touch you, mostly. All right, I gotta find that horse. I think it's probably further north, though. Mm-hmm. Just gonna keep hiding. Keep picking up Chiltrums while we're at it. Oh, he's getting closer. He's getting closer. It's gonna keep heading north. We're not quite to the Golden Horse yet. We're getting close, though. Actually, you're gonna be looking right around where this little thing is here. Should be, like, just south of this, maybe? A little bit more east, maybe? You'll know it's there because it won't be the only horse there. There'll be a group of horses. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is right there. Did we manage to escape it? I think we did. I mean, now we're stuck running in the snow, so that sucks ass through through Maggie Moore's... Is there a Maggie Moore? Maybe I was thinking of Mandy Moore? I don't know. <laughs> Beats the hell out of me, I tell you. Anyway, we have extra stamina here, so if we need to you know, like do a little bit of sneaking here, we can do that. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm All the other horses ran away. I mean, this is a golden horse. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot for kicking me in the face. Now you're gonna go run off like that. How'd you even see me? Do I need to put my Sheikah gear on and just freeze to death here? Maybe I can jump on you from above. That might be the best way to do it. Right here, get down, get down, get down. Make sure you're not making a lot of sound here. I mean, this is a golden horse. Like, what are, what are the odds, I tell you? <laughs> there is no such thing as a golden horse. You gotta be kidding me. It's not too hard to tame. Now we just gotta get it back to the stable, though. And from what I remember, it doesn't really give you a lot of hassle about that. It just kind of goes wherever you go. I mean, it is a quest horse. They're not gonna sit there and make you tame an entire horse from 0 to 100. They're in the process of taking it, you know, 1 16th of the way across the map. So as long as we steer clear of the Gleok, we should be good here. But we had no problem getting away from it one time. I'm sure we can get away from it again. Also, there's Lizalfos out there, and it's tempting to kind of stop and pick him off, but I'm just not going to do that. See my other horse, Epona, still standing out there. Just doing whatever. Maybe grazing on some frozen grass or something. We can already see the stable from here, just barely. So as long as we kind of keep our distance here. Keep your distance, though, Chewie, but don't look like you're trying to keep your distance. I saw Star Fragment. Mm-hmm. Who knows how far away that is. We do have some time. We might be able to get to it. And you do need over 100 of them for a certain... I don't know which armor upgrade specifically, but it said 100, so I'm like, Ugh, okay, I'll trust you on that. Anyway, here we are. Wait, who do we talk to with this thing? Oh, my God, slow down, slow down. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. I can't... Okay, yeah, just run into a tree. <laughs> Maybe that's the best way to do it. I, I do so little... Wait. I do so little horse riding in this game that I don't even remember how they control. It's just like a thing. I thought you just press down on the joystick, but maybe. Oh, that is how you do it. Okay. Hello. I got your, uh, thing. Oh, look who's finally back home. No doubt about it. That is Princess Zelda's steed for certain... Like, that's not her steed. We saw her steed in the first game, and it didn't look golden back then. Why would some random horse be her steed? Well, the thing of it is, like, we know it's not, because it's not Zelda, so... You know. So there's that. I know this horse well, and I do believe you're right. Really, you'd be doing me a favor if you keep this gentle creature. Princess Zelda asked me to find someone to take good care of it, so... 
I think you can probably do it because you're her boyfriend, right? I remember that part. Wait, am I wearing my hairband? I'm not supposed to be. <laughs> I thought, uh, okay, whatever. I thought his hair was only up when, like, you wore the hairband, but, okay. Maybe it's just part of the costume, actually, that I'm wearing. Yeah, because I'm, okay, it is, because I'm wearing the snow quill headdress. Yeah, that's what it is. That's not real hair, and that's why it's pulled back like that. Because the only thing worse than your hair falling in your face is your fake hair falling in your face. You don't need that. I imagine a lot of Peach cosplayers deal with some serious shit in that regard. So long! Get out of here! No, I get out of here! You stay here! You stay here! Is there- what is- oh, oh! The horse's tail is braided. I was trying to figure out what that was on his butt. Like, is that a doo-doo stain or something? Maybe he, like, crapped itself? And poor thing. He's gonna take better care of these horses, man. Or maybe the Gleok just burned it in that one little spot. How would a Frost Gleok do that? Freezer burn, that's how. Here, Aww. register my horse. Yes, we're well acquainted already. You mean to register it? Well, why not? Do I get to give it a name? No, just new horse. Oh, I do. Wait a minute. Do I? Let me see. Yeah, right. This is Princess Zelda's horse, and I'm going to rename it now, if you don't mind. Oh, I got some points saved up. Yeah, I sure do. Oh, wow. I get to name Zelda's horse. Well, what would Zelda name her horse? Here, I got something. This is so dumb. I don't even really know that much about this person, but I know he exists. He's a very fast runner. So is this horse, so... Or wait, 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 no, we gotta include the pun here, don't we? Um... Usain Cult, that's it. Am I pronouncing that right? I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, that's him. Yep, there we go. Good lord. I'm not gonna... One year from now, I'm not gonna remember that I did that. That concludes the registration process. Oh my god, I don't want to do anything with it. I guess if I used a bridle in the future for something, or I mean a harness, then I could use that horse, because it's probably got better stats. Either way, better stats than Meat Plow. But why would I want to ditch Meat Plow? Man, I love Meat Plow. I want to ride Meat Plow all day long. Hey, it's another one of those wreaths. They're all the way out here. That's so cool. Oh, man. Anyway, we get a Traveler's Saddle, who cares? We get a Traveler's Bridle, who cares? We get a uh, main restyling service. Okay, that, I guess that could be kind of cool. You know, it's cosmetic, but it's cool. Anyway, it's just something. They have to have things like that in games, you know? And putting it behind a reward system is not the worst idea in the world. Especially since it's only one of many reward systems in the game, so, you know, you have that too. Okay, so the one I wanted to do, the pen quest that is, the pen fuck, is I think it's at a stable we haven't actually been to yet. And that stable is just south of Death Mountain where I've also been meaning to go for a while. That's the Woodland Stable there. But the stable I want to go to is called the Foothill Stable. And the Foothill Stable, just for perspective here, is basically south of Death Mountain, straight south, right there. I'll put a horse on that, I'll put a heart on that. We just head right over to it then. Actually, I put it, should, probably should have used a pin so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, we got a tower that's pretty close to that. Just so happens I was just there to get the sticky frogs. Hey, maybe there'll be some more. Yeah, like when I came here earlier, I got the sticky frog off the cliff there, but there were no sticky frogs on the cliff over here, which is weird. I guess that 1% odds just it wasn't kicking in this time or something. That can happen, though. You could have something that's 1% odds and not happen for like 300 in a row. Oh, shoot. This poor guy. How many times have I walked past you? Oh, and you must hate me right now. Mired in muck. Why don't we do something about this? I can't... Oh, my God, dude. I am so sorry. Jeez, Louise. Can you stand up? You're good? Yeah, sit for a minute. Oh, my God. He burped. Huh. You saved me. Thank you. But How shameful that this should happen to Yoshi's cookie. Captain of the guard at Yorazora's domain. Unbelievable. Bop. After the upheaval, that fifth filth suddenly started to fall from the sky. It was like the fifth element. That's what I was about to say there. Anyway, set out to investigate it myself, and this happened. Oh, that sucks. Anyway, we get a Zora Spear. We have space for it, so I guess. Plus, Zora weapons will do double damage if you're wet. So if you're just running around and you got a Zora weapon, and this includes, like, what they're fused to, that'll double too. So if you just throw a splash fruit down at the ground, it'll get you wet. And it'll double the power of your Zora weapon, which can have its uses. It's a little bit situational, but then again, situational my ass. You could have Splash Fruit, you could use that anywhere. 
Whee! Oh god, look at that. We are making so much ground here. This really is great armor. Boy, I gotta tell you. This is one of the best ideas for armor they've ever had in the game yet. By and far, full stop, best armor. Not really, but it's still cool as hell. I'm just gonna go ahead and get the shrine while we're here. Makes no sense not to. See like a campfire behind it there. I wonder what's going on over there. I'm not actually too sure. Wouldn't it be cool if you just went to one of those and it was just straight up abandoned? Oh, I see a mining vein right over there. Yeah, mining is another thing that I probably might start to pass up on a little bit now that we have like the rare or the rare taluses in the picture and how easy those are to beat. As I was saying, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> Wind power. Wait a minute, this is oh, this is just like that other shrine. Jeez, man. So yeah, we need to blow all these fans at once. It's actually very simple. There's not a treasure chest up there. <laughs> Treasure chest is probably in the next room. There's like a one puzzle shrine, so no big deal here. Well, first I'm gonna get the treasure chest, and I'm probably gonna cut out the 30 seconds of me looking for it, because it's right here. All you gotta do is get a fan and blow you up to it. I don't know why I didn't see it. I thought it was gonna be like on the corners or something, and no, it was just right there. Right there on the side of the room. Okay, so we, whoops, no, not yet. Turn it back off. You don't want these to be on when you're messing with them, because otherwise it's going to be really hard to attach them to the thing. But, um, if I remember right, I think it just, we just did this right here. Attach them to the side like this. And when they're both attached to the same thing, as we know, they will both activate at the same time. We just have to make sure that they are, number one, facing the same way around the circle, and number two, attached on opposite sides. And with that... We've solved the puzzle. One of the easiest shrines in the game by far. I know this one ranks pretty high on people's lists of like worst shrines in the game because of how easy it is. And I understand, totally. Not even gonna argue with that. Examine though. All I know is I got another light of blessing out of it, so I'm not complaining. All right, time to jump down to the stable. I went ahead and just deleted the stamp off screen here. Oh my god, that little gurgle in my throat there just now. Uh, we got a foothill stable. We also have a well. I think I'll check the well first. Wells are cozy and we haven't done many of them lately. In fact, I feel like it's been a while since we've been down a well. I'll tell you what. So if I'm going to mine, though, I'm not going to use that. We can use any of the numerous heart things that we have here. Yeah, luminous stone. Sapphire, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, just, what are you burping for? Good lord, man. What are you pissing for? There's a chest down here. There's what appears to be a gossip stone over here. I don't think that's actually what that... Oh, is that a chest in the wall? Oh my god, dude. Man, I've seen some weird shit in these days. I'm telling you. I'm surprised I have as much ice fruit as I do, because I don't really have a grinding spot for it at present. I've just been picking it up as I see it, but I guess there's just that much of it in the world. I thought the dazzle fruit was the same way until I realized in between videos a while back that I was down to 10 of them. And then I was like, well, sure, I have to do something about that, aren't I? So I did. So I did. Actually, I guess since that was in a different video, I can explain any of these star markers here our dazzle fruit locations so if you just happen to be watching and you just happen to need dazzle fruit there's all these spots right here these two right here or these three specifically are a quick and easy way well now one of the spots actually when i went to it it wasn't a dazzle fruit it was a sunday lion but you need those too so you know sunday lion is never a bad thing to pick up never Let's pull your ass out of the wall here i mean oh god where'd you go there's way all over there. And I can see the wood down there at the bottom of the lake. That poor piece of wood. A piece of wood that can't float is like a lawyer that can't defend. Or a painter who can't paint. What we got here? Oh, knight's shield, smite's shield, smite's shield. Smite is cool. I haven't watched Arcade Pit in a while. Let me get back to that. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much all for that well. But we did go in, which counts now, so it'll be on the map. And we know this 
because it will say, which will stable well next to it. All right, let's go talk to Pin. This is the one. This is the one, and you can already see why. Before I even talk to him, you can already see why I wanted to do this one. Why did I wait this long? There you are, partner. Have you seen all the men in underpants at the stable? Well, wait, if it's men in underpants, I may have to rethink this. I've been listening to the chirps and warbles from my sources. They say Princess Zelda ordered all the members of the Zonai Survey Team here to dress that way. The spot used to see a lot of travelers going through here, but now it's like freaking Playboy Mansion all up in this bitch. Anyway, they're over there, so, you know, go see them if you want, I guess. Why would Princess Zelda give such a reckless order to the survey team? Those chirps and warbles are going to give us a real story to report on. So, if you haven't already figured it out, pretty much every single one of these stories is kind of the same thing. Princess Zelda came to the stable, did something stupid, and, uh... And now people are reacting to it in stupid, in stupid ways. And the fact that you can come back and do these even after you know the truth really makes it hard for the story to hold weight. You know, it's just, you wonder why Link doesn't just tell him, you know, this is what's going on. But he can't because he's a silent protagonist. But it is still heavily implied that he does speak to people in some instances. So it's like, I feel like maybe that's not really an excuse. But at the same time, oh, I see you there. I'm just going to run right past you like I always do. At the same time, though, you know, I don't, it's such a delicate balance, you know. I mean, I've ugh, I've never passed up an opportunity to talk about how much I hate this, the fact that Chrono can't speak and what it does for his relationship with Marl and all that, but still, though, they still manage to make it work better than some other games where the heroes do talk, so whatever. Anyway, Princess Zelda has given the order, so here we go, Sango. It won't be scary if we both go together, Fabio. On the count of three, one, two, three. This is so stupid. Oh, Sango, why didn't you go? You didn't move either. What's going on? They're not going to make me do this, are they? Please let me do it. What? Oh, it's you. I thought it was a monster. We're trying to conduct research on the monsters hold up in this cave, but we have to do it in our undies because Princess Zelda said so, because she's horny. And she hasn't had any sex in 10,000 years, and now she's a dragon. So, uh, I'll try it. Are you serious? Uh, yep. Alright. So this is basically like one of those shrines where you have to do it without any outside help. Like a little mini Eventide Island. And those are some of my favorite moments in the game, actually. My favorite things to do. Because it actually forces you to kind of be resourceful here. Down here, there's going to be a lot of monsters. You're still going to have your tools, so... But you don't have bombs, so... Keep that in mind as you head down this. I'm gonna try to be a little sneaky here. Well, maybe it's a little early for that. Also, I guess this proves that Link wears black underpants. I'm sure that just, the ladies just love that. I see a boat oar. I don't think that's gonna do us much good, but it is two-handed. This might be good for knocking him away. But I don't think that long animations are what we're exactly in here for. Oh, no, that's, wait. Yeah, I was gonna say that is two-handed. It's not a boat oar, though. I think the only one you want to worry about the most is this spear over here. If you come around the right side, there's a spear leaning against the wall. And if they get a hold of that, well, then they're going to get a hold of you. And then you're going to have yourself a party. So, grab whatever you can get here. Let's try not to make any sound. Actually, oh, right, no armor. And if you can, I think you can actually fuse this from the other side of the wall. Yeah, there we go. Once you have that, I think you're a little safer. And that's a black moblin, so be aware of that. Now, I don't want to just run in guns blazing here either, because even though the enemies are pretty weak, and I'm a little bit over-leveled for this, I think they actually intended you to do this uh, earlier in the game. In fact, my first time doing it, I had six hearts. So, that was a thing. Is that... Oh, right, I don't have a bow. Can I get a bow? Is there a bow around here? There probably is. Is that silver? Oh, that's armored. Oh, that's even better. Jeez. Well, I don't know if I want to go that way, then. Oh, how do we want to approach this? I don't know. I just don't want him chasing after me while I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. You know. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, oh God, we just got their attention. Okay, well, it's time. Guns blazing, y'all. Here we go. Oh, man. He's going to pick up the moblin and throw him at me. Toasty Stamella Shroom. Lovely. 
I'll get you out of here and get you out of here too. There comes the armored one. Oh yeah, see, so they don't do much damage as long as you don't let that sticking mob when we get a hold of you. So we'll take care of this guy right here. God, I feel so weak right now, and that's what the that's the whole point too. So they want you to feel weak. We get your bow and hit the boxes to get arrows if you can. Ho oh, oh. ho! Hey 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 hey! I got you! I got your number. Oh, you jump down! You jump down! No, no, run, run, run! I'll try to run, but it's like I'm locked in the animation. It's like Dark Souls. That's what scares me the most about playing Dark Souls. It's just the whole idea that you're that every time you attack, you're locked in an animation and you're completely vulnerable. So like, why would you ever attack? Period. But you have to attack because how else do you win the game? So, you know. But I'm gonna do it someday. I will play Dark Souls someday. And I'm probably gonna hate it, but I don't know, maybe I won't. Do I have yeah, I was gonna say I have a second weapon here. I need something to deal with that armor, dude. And this right here is your best bet. It's boulder in the back of the room. So if we wait, let me actually here change my weapon back. I don't wanna break the boulder on this guy when I need it for the other one. So here he is. Alright, back to back to back to. Let me run because he's about to swing fire. Yeah, oh, mm -mm. <laughs> What am I doing? What am I doing? I was trying to climb up the rock, I think. It was like, but you're trying to do it towards the screen. Alright, go for a... You still you still can get a flurry rush if you can pull it off. Oh, he's really mad that he missed, isn't he? Okay, hold on a minute. This moblin has got to go, man. He's got to... Okay, am I trying to climb the walls again? Sometimes it does that, and it's like infuriating when it happens. Absolutely infuriating. Okay, can you, like, get over here? <laughs> wow, you got a pretty good arm there, sir. You were just thrown all around. You were thrown down is what you were doing. Well, I almost got it. There we go. Jeez, man, I tell you. So through a careful combination of running and attacking, you can clear the rest of the guys out. Then you can just worry about this guy. Which, he's gonna shield everything, isn't he? Can I break his shield? <laughs> that would be handy if I could. The only thing we're missing down here is an electric chew. We well, you know what you could do. You could just bathe your arrow in fire and then hit him with it. Burn a shield off. There we go. That's resourceful. Now let me just come over here. Uh, we're just trying to keep our distance here, but he's moving pretty fast. Now that he doesn't have that shield weighing him down. This is the other thing that moblins especially do in this game. When you're trying to shoot him in the face, they kind of run off to the side. Okay, no, no, that's, that's not handy. We might just have to go for a little bit of flurry rushing here, but... Yeah, we always have options. We could bathe another arrow in fire, couldn't we? We could do that. Ooh, and then set him on fire. Let's just use up all our arrows, because we don't have any other use for them once we... Once we finish the fight, you know, we're basically done. Hmm. What else is there in here? I'm just trying to see if there's... more of these? Oh, yeah, okay, so I guess this is healing, that's, I suppose. No reason not to do it. I just feel like he's gonna one-shot me or something. I don't think he actually would. Oh, your hearts are already full. You know, you don't need any more. We don't have any arrows left. I have 300 arrows. Don't try to tell me I ain't got no arrows left. Holy crap. Okay, that's some damage. And that's why you don't want to do this with six hearts. Because wow. Because wow. Might as well eat the rest. I mean, it's good healing stuff anyway. <sighs> so yeah, uh, break the box here. Break, break the box already. Really? <laughs> You're telling me that giant boulder takes two hits to destroy some lousy cardboard box? I don't know, man. I think I'll do it again. I'll just get the light arrow. And hopefully... Oh, yeah, nice job. I'm gonna do that again? I'm gonna do this all day long. You're trying to stay safe, you know, but at the same time... Oh, jeez, I thought I could get him in the arm. We might have to go for the flurry rush. I mean, it's not like I... Yeah, well, I was gonna say. I was gonna say it's not like I doubt that I can do it, but I kind of doubt that I can do it, you know? Oh, he's trying to take a dump now? Really? Jeez. Well, there you go. We did it. So, can I get my supplies? Oh, yes, I can. Hey, how about that? Is this an actual cave? There might be a booble frog in here, but. See, this rock back here, it's not like hiding an entrance behind it, is it? No. Okay. Oops. Oh, hell, I don't even have Tulin in here with me. Apparently, I've been stripped of him as well. <laughs> uh, 
boy, I can't wait to get back there and tell those guys about what I just did. They're going to be so impressed. Oh, man. Hello, dudes. Guess what? Oh. Wow, you survived. I actually beat them. What? You really defeated the monsters wearing only your underpants. I'm going to tell the other members of the team about your stunning work here. They just had this steadfast adherence to all things Zelda. You know, it's like it's a way of life for them at this point. Yeah, sure, they still realize that it's troublesome, but they still adhere to it. And it's like, wow, you know. So is that a cave? Wait, wait, here. That is a cave, so there is a Boobal Frog in there. Let me go back in and check it out. It's probably pretty close to the beginning. In fact, I'd say... The thing is, they wouldn't want to put it somewhere that was distracting, because you came here to fight. Like, what about this down here, this little low crevice? Oh, there you go, that's where it is. That's where that little fucker is, let me tell you. Yeah, at least now we have our supplies back, so we can go most use. Bombs, shoot toward the top so the explosion doesn't hit you. And ba 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 Look at that, he's just sitting in here chilling out all innocent. Hmm, and now he's not. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme! So what is that, 27? Bam, dude. We haven't even seen the guy yet that we trade these in at. Mm-mm-mm. Oh well. Okay, so that one's done. We have the check mark next to the cave now. I think that's actually going to be it for this video, because we got flowers right here, so it's pretty convenient. And Goron, Elden. I like this area so much more in this game than in the first game, so I can't wait to kind of delve into it a little bit here, if that's what we're doing next. Which even now, I'm not sure. Anyway, see you guys later!